What? What? Is it sick? It's what's sick? The camera. It's always sick. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> You're on telly? I'm on TV? Yeah. Mum, I'm on telly, love. Put Channel 5 on. Be wishing yours is on. Let's go. Tell people we'll walk. Cover some shit. Tell people what we're up to. Got my uh, rag top. Your rag top? Yeah. It's from Romania. Romania Muscle Fest from last year. Got it because I wanted to grow into it. Grow into it. <laughs> you grow into it a bit too much, that looks a bit. I know, it's sticking out a little bit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's meant to be, running back to rag top. What I mean? So, what have we been up to? Bit of an update. 11 weeks out now so it's all happening made a bit of a decision that I've been thinking about for quite some time um, decided to take over my own prep why why did I want to do that so a couple of reasons I've uh, prepped myself for pretty much like 14 shows or something after my junior days so it's always been a process that I've very much enjoyed and I feel like I get so much more satisfaction and I feel like it's just that bit more rewarding as well when you go through the process and you are accountable to yourself. For me, I can look at things objectively like I would at my own client and there's a lot of things that I wanna do because I know that I will do well with it and I know it works well for me so you know, this isn't a knock on Stefan because Stefan's amazing. He's one of the best coaches in the world and I've learned a hell of a lot of him that I will for sure, you know, cherish and be very grateful for. So that's not a knock on him. It's more for me. Obviously I'm a coach. I love bodybuilding in and out and I've been doing this sport since I was a kid pretty much. So I live and breathe it every day. It's all I do pretty much. So for me, to do this, it just gives me so much more joy. And it got to the point where I was getting a little bit stressed because I kind of wanted to do my own thing anyway for some time. So I came to the decision last week to take over my own prep. And thankfully, Stefan was very, very understanding about it. So the whole process was very smooth. And here we are, 11 weeks to go from the biggest show of my life. Which is definitely exciting and definitely looking forward to the challenge because for me it's going to be a bigger challenge on many levels now with doing this by myself and trying to manage my athletes as well that are doing the show so definitely something that i'm very much looking forward to a, a nice little bench just so we don't have to do the david dogging shit and get carl to have an accident he's just got a brand new lens in his camera so we want to make sure that stays uh, nice and fresh. So a bit of an update, at 11 weeks out now, I'm sitting at 245 pounds this morning. Uh, my weight fluctuates quite a lot. It can go up and down by three, four pounds here and there. So that's not really a worry. For me, I more consider my average across the week. And then I break down the pictures that I take and assess those and take it from there in terms of what decisions I'm going to be making moving forward to keep the condition coming through. Um, looking at pictures, from this year compared to last year. Condition wise, I'm around four weeks away from my condition in Spain and I'm 20 pounds heavier, which is great. You know, I feel like this year I really need to be legit. So my condition needs to be a lot better than it was last year. So that will definitely mean that, you know, I only step it up a gear, but in the same breath, you know, I'm ready for work and I'm ready to get after it as well. So it's definitely a challenge that I'm going to welcome with both hands. In terms of where I'm at right now, just cruising along. You know, food is still relatively high. Output isn't that, that high, which is pretty great. So I've got so many tools left to play with still, which I'm looking forward to getting stuck into, to be honest. I think right now we're definitely very much on track to be in legit condition that I need to be in. And that means cross-strated glutes. So my goal is to pretty much be peeled inside out at around two to three weeks out so that I can reverse into the show. And I think that's doable from where I'm at right now. I just need to make sure that I keep my foot on the gas 
and not let off at any point and not make any silly mistakes. But the, the way I kind of break things down right now, you know, I don't think that I can make many mistakes based off the previous preps and mistakes I've done in the past. You know, I feel like I can rectify every single mistake I have made through the experience that I've had. So this is going to be a lot smoother process. And this is exactly why I'm, I'm a lot more chilled and I'm a lot more confident in doing this by myself as well. So, game on, new challenge guys, new opportunity. Today we actually have a push session as well to film. Um, but first, I've got a couple of clients coming over for an in-person check-in. Um, I'm gonna go back now, get a little bit more steps done, and then I'll cut my pre-workout meal, get ready, and then we'll set off, probably go and have a coffee from Starbucks, as I don't really feel like having a pre-workout today. I feel like having an iced coffee. What do you think, Carl? Oh, uh. Yeah, iced coffee. Iced coffee with pre-pump from JP. That'll uh, tick things off nicely, so get a little walk done, blast it out, back in, get set and fucking go. And I never fit the shoe until I do or something. Yo, bracing myself like teeth, boy, it's the same old route on some new concrete. But homie, these tones make you get a new ID. I'm trying to do my thing, but the oh. commute ain't cheap. I'm on a two day week. Tip these steps, guys. Said it before, say it again. First, break your steps down into intervals across your day. Don't leave it all until last thing. Try and get them all in at once. It will be quite fatiguing and challenging. What I like to do is I like to get 2000 steps after the first couple of meals. So in the morning, I do my morning walk, which is my morning cardio, 35 minutes, which equivalents to around three and a half thousand steps, 4,000 steps. Following on from that, I hit two walks two walks after each meal at 2000 steps each which takes me around 10 15 minutes so that pretty much adds up my whole expenditure as i get quite a lot of steps while i'm training so it's very very easy for me to hit those if i didn't do it in this interval i'd probably have to do an hour walk in the evening which is not ideal so you be smart structure your days properly and use your time wisely guys don't be lazy you're not since you're so it's not a finished product just yet but this is going to be like a, a utility gym well utility gym kind of utility gym this is going to be the cardio room um posing posing slash cardio room we've got a big mirror here obviously obviously we've got a stair master we've got the treadmill inversion table we've got the bike obviously we've got the freezer here all the JP subs um, and just all sorts of just shit everywhere uh, that we do have my weighted vests and all that crap, foam rollers, dog treats, all sorts of shit. So this is like a, a utility room slash gym. Uh, we've still got TVs to go up on the wall. Um, so I'll be having probably a TV there in the corner or like here. I don't know, I'll see. But basically the Stairmaster I'm gonna turn around. So the Stairmaster is gonna be facing that way. I've still got Sparky's left to come and fit the, um, what they're called? Plugs. Yeah. Fit the plugs um, and fit the telly up as well, hang the TV up. So it'll be quite cool. Saves a lot of time as well if we need to get my cardio done rather than having to go to the gym. Uh, pretty ideal yeah. to be honest. Wake up, get downstairs, get hydrated, get on the stairs or get on the treadmill, get it done or get on the bike. Yeah. Uh, obviously I've got Shane coming over, Shane Colour classic pro he's doing the arnold's with me he's coming over to live at mine for the last three weeks of prep so i'm just prepping the room ready for his cardio when he comes over so definitely exciting but yeah this is a, this is definitely a proud little room for me and meg with obviously uh the picture from last year which this year this year i'm gonna have same one but just a lot bigger um <laughs> yeah this year the arnold's is gonna be wild on the same day there's going to be me competing and so many different other people from, from the team. So I'll capture everyone on the shots and I'll get something like this put together and probably have it framed here as well. I'll just have to find space for it. I'll probably have it framed next to the TV. That'll work out pretty perfect, won't it? So, yeah. Bit of pride and joy, you know. You know how it is. There we go. Blue. 
tense at 30%. When you're conditioned that, you don't need to tense any harder than 30%, yeah? Okay. That's all you do, just 30%. Yeah, no harder. Let's go. Before you get into that, do it again. Right. Now, Billy, you're doing it halfway. Before you go, twist all the way, hit the shots, and then go, yeah? In. 30%. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Because you're not going to get anything more from tensing harder okay. at all. Cool. If anything, you just start sweating and you just get out of bed. now. <laughs> yeah. So it does you no favours. Yeah. When you lean, you don't need to tense hard. 30%, it's all there. Do you I squeeze get any right harder? Back, do I? I think you can still get more. Still get more. Yeah, because you're not fully opening. You're like you're scrunching up, and you're like doing a lateral. Right, this okay. needs to be relaxed. Just lift your arms up a little bit. Right. Squeeze these pecs between your armpits, and now open. Chest up. Open up. Open up. Right. Arms down. That's it. Stand back. Stand back. Right. Hold that. Right. Look at the difference. Yeah. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. The pen trick, motherfuckers. I'll send my link in PayPal. Have you got pens under there? Yeah. Hold the pens there. Yeah. Turn around. Ah. Turn around. Can you feel that tension? Yeah. In between? Right? Before, this wasn't hard. Now it's yeah. hard. Because you're creating tension between here to open up fully. Yeah. And now, this is popping. Yeah. Before, this was flat. Do you feel that sensation? Yeah. Do you understand what I mean now? Yeah. Yeah? You have to feel that out every time. And now, I bet your shoulders are completely relaxed. Yeah, That's what we want. Yeah. You don't tense your shoulders on a front relaxed, on a front relaxed spread. All you do is your aim to fully open and your shoulders stay relaxed. Yeah. You just open the back up. So get your front relaxed now. Around every morning. Hold for five seconds each time. Squeeze at 30%. 35. Hold into your bubble, you stick it out, and now you're... Abs and face. Nice. Foot. You need to work on those lats, don't I? Yeah. A lot. You've got a lot of lat now. Yeah. Before, you didn't have much there, but now you've got a lot of meat there now. Yeah. So you need to really open it up. Cool. But it's the sensation, you know the sensation you get? Yeah. When you force your tricep into your lat, yeah. And you're not tensioning your shoulders then, yeah. so your shoulders look a lot bigger, yeah. but so does your back, yeah. especially in the front shots. That's super important. A lot of people like scrunch over and like squeeze the shoulders in them shots, makes it look that's worse. What I'm doing. No, yeah. don't think about tensing your shoulders. Yeah. You can think about contracting your pecs slightly, yeah, but not your shoulders. Your shoulders just sit there on yeah. your shoulder blade. You open up, you hold back. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, beautiful. I work on that daily. Yeah, yeah, just one round every morning. And yeah. then when it gets like six weeks out, which is not going to be long, we'll turn it up again, yeah? Yeah, I've been doing it every morning and after every training session, yeah. but obviously I'm just messing up that lat spread. So. Every pose, though. Yeah. Every pose. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. But hold as well. Yeah. Don't just hear and move. Yeah. Because you're not, you're not used to holding them. No, I'm not. Yeah, so you need to hit it. Five seconds, yeah. Yeah. What, well, 30%? Yeah. And the more you learn that, the less out of breath you'll get, and better you look as well. I think that's the thing, I'm trying to contract everything yeah, like 100% and no, no. yeah, Mate, I'm just I'm getting fucked. If you contract everything 100% you'll look terrible. Yeah. You'll just, yeah, you'll end, and then you'll end up fucking blowing your stomach out. Nah, yeah. you need to be careful with it, yeah? Cool, yeah. Put your pants up a little bit. There we go. That's bad. Make sure that you, your, your shoulders, they need to sit behind you. That push the sides a lot better. Other one, it seems like. Yeah, the third side. It's a little bit too wide. You want to bring it more in front and then twist your hip this way. So if you watch me, you're facing that way. So it goes. Pop your hip more, pop your hip more. There, there, there. That's better. That's nice, but bring up that hip. This one? Yeah, bring your hip more and then turn your waist that way. Yeah, that's better. You can also do that as a front pose. Okay. I think that that looks better on you. That looks awesome. Try not to allow this to come out. Yeah.
think about that and that's bigger than what's coming out in your ear. Bend your leg. I think she bends her leg. That's my push. Yeah. And then bend. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I think like, it's just not totally straight, but like pushing down on it. There. Perfect though, I could lock in. All pack, no joint. I think the more you the more warm catch you go into, you get you, you know exactly where the fire is before yeah. you even you know. That was perfect there. Yeah. Oh, 
So, that is a wrap for the session. Um, push sessions are quite big. As that's the area trying to ring up right now, so push and pull sessions are the big ones. So, yeah, that is a wrap. I'm absolutely spent, as you can see. Um, this has actually changed the colour, so, yeah, definitely a successful session. Feel good. I don't feel too, too bad. As the way these sessions set out working in high rep ranges, it's actually reduced a lot of the load, but still increased the stimulus definitely works pretty well um, so we'll see how it goes it's just my second week into the new setup which I will actually cover in my next YouTube clip so it's definitely going to be the one and then we can all kind of tune in and see what's happening as I break it down in detail as to what my programming entails with Nick Gloth 
So, yeah, looking forward to it, guys. Take care, guys, from now on. Peace.